I'd like to talk a little bit about engine spacers and engine adapters. When you start getting into larger engines, they come in various sizes, and you have to play some games if you want it to fit into your rocket. Take something like a big Bertha, like this, and use a standard C65, it just snaps right into the back. It just fits right in there, no problem. If you want to get a higher flight on your big Bertha, rather than using a C65, one thing you can do is to buy this. This engine is a, a Q-Jet engine, it's a D16. So the D16's got double the energy and a lot more thrust. But notice it's exactly the same size as your 18 millimeter engine. So yes, you can take this engine and just snap it right into the back of your Big Bertha and you're all okay for another really high flight. Um, well, let's take a look at the other types of engines that we have available. We also have the 24 millimeter engines. You got the D125 and the uh, E engine. Now, if you wanna use a D125 where you have an E12 type of engine mount, you have to use a spacer. And this way, you see all you have to do is slide the spacer in first, then slide in the engine, and then you're all set. You got the same size. Both of these will fit into the engine mount. So if you take something like your high flyer, slide in the spacer, slide in the D engine, and you're okay. Or you just slide in your E engine, and you're okay. But what do you do if you want to use one of these D16s in the high flyer? Well, there's a little bit of a problem. Um, you take the D16, and you put it first into your engine adapter like this. Now this makes it look like a 24 millimeter. So this is really the same size as the D engine. Well, almost. <laughs> if we take a look at this, um, if I have my engine inside of this adapter and I use this particular spacer on the end of it, you see it's a little bit too long. So all I do is just cut off a little bit from the end and we're all set. So now I can go ahead, I can take my high flyer, I can put into this either my uh, E12, just slide that in, or I can launch it on my D16-4 with this particular adapter. So you have to be careful, you got both of these are off a little bit by um, difference in size. Uh, this one is uh, 21 millimeters long, whereas this is, I believe, exactly one inch, which is around 25, so it's about a four millimeter difference. That's the only thing that you have to do. I usually preload my rockets the night before the launch. They can sometimes be 20 to 30 rockets, and I just may run out of these spacers. I have, I now need two spacers, depending on what kind of engines I'm going to run for each rocket, potentially. So if I run out of the uh, regular size spacers, all I have to do to make some of the shorter ones is just simply take an old rocket engine, like a C11-3, clean it out, and I just cut this to uh, 21 millimeters. The inside then is coated with epoxy, and now I have a nice, strong, additional spacer.